Hi guys and welcome back. Today we are taking a look at new Night Sun DIV 12S, which is a great small handheld torch for a nice backup or even primary torch application. So let's get started. The torch itself is powered by one 18650 battery, which depending on what package you are getting it's not included, but what we are seeing here is the basic thing. This will be always included. Obviously a torch, a lanyard to fix and a back mounting hole, a user manual and an extra set of o-rings. Of course you can get it with an extra, with a battery, with a charger or, or even with a second extra battery, but this depends on the pack you are getting. Now here I got the nice and red model, I like the color of it because it's quite distinctive. Not many lights have this kind of color and we start by the nice design of it. Uh, we have a nice side switch, titanium alloy on the side with a power indicator around it, of course green and red, meaning our power levels from the battery, very good always. And in the front we have a Cree, it's XML, so nice output of up to a thousand or a thousand and fifty lumens as they um, say it is and it's quite strong. In this case we have also a very nice three o-ring system. I'm gonna get right to, to it because you need to also place a battery inside and here we have a very nice system what I like a lot. We have a beautiful thread, two nice o-rings which will protect the torch from water coming in to a very deep depth because the space in there will be all filled up with a battery. We have of course the driver in this side and the good thing is Either on the head nor on the back part there is never going to be some current passing on the outer part of the aluminium because from the back part we have this in, inside, yeah? this is an extra aluminium tube inside so the electricity passes through this tube and not by the outside and we also have the contacts directly on the driver and not on the aluminium exterior shell. This is quite important so there is no cathodic corrosion, I had the light, some lights already where you really get some holes into the light and this is because there is some corrosion happening there is always a small bit of electricity trying to pass through the water and this just eliminates it like this you will never have any electricity even going through the parts so there is also no attraction for the salt to corrode off your torch now I'm gonna just take a generic 18650 one of mine as the light did not come with one in this case and I'm just gonna close it now this thread really closes nice you don't need many rotations it's really very smooth very easy and they have a good hexagonal torch uh, hexagonal thread I want to say here we have now the output it comes on on the lowest mode as we know it from those models and you press it once and this is just to know it's closed there is a contact and it's perfect and ready to go now we have the side switch you just have to press it once you get into the high mode. Here you have around 1000 lumens. Yeah. Then you have a mid mode and a low mode. The low mode, or in this case you only have two modes. There is one uh, variety where you have almost all to, um, up to three modes. In this case, in the newer one, you only have two. Important is for you to know when you go into any of the two modes, but you keep the, pr uh, the button pressed. Yeah, for three seconds it goes into strobe mode and this is the third mode on this variant. So you have a strobe with up to a thousand lumens and you have the two modes being high with a thousand and low with around three to four hundred lumens. It's always quite good so you can power and choose more or less how you want to use the power but still with a good 18650 battery even on high mode you can get up to two hours of runtime which is perfect. You can use it for easily two dives if you even use it on full power all the time and after the day after do two or three dives it's time to charge the battery so it's a perfect way of making or splitting it up when we come to the angle of light yeah, let's call it we have a nice spot in the middle we have a good spot spill also for the night dives but I really enjoy on this light this, this spot is not too tidy but it's very good for a small handle torch this one you can as I said already use good for as a primary torch but also great as a backup torch because it's very small it fits in every pocket and mainly have a power indicator so if you use it you already know okay how is it looking and also as a guide as a diving instructor myself it's always good to have a powering indicator on your light because you don't want to be charging it every day after every work day so it's always good all right torch is still full good for another day or two but if you see all right needs to be charged you can hook it up and charge the battery so that's always a very good thing my opinion for you is when you are washing 
the light after the dive and you're cleaning it with, off with fresh water in case you dive in salt water, which most of us do. Always important not only to rinse the torch, but when you put it under water, press the button a few times. Yeah? So the switch inside or the button where it goes in, this has a hole through this, the shell and there is a little bit of fresh water going in and cleaning it all the way down to the o-ring. So that's very important in this case. Alright guys, now I would say let's jump in the water, let's take a look how this light performs underwater in some real diving conditions because it's always nice to see it in my hands and how it performs over water to see how it works, but it's always nice also to see how it works where you're actually going to be using the diving light. So guys, let's jump in the water, take a look how the light performs and hope you enjoyed the video and see you next time. Cheerio!